we're talking about tax sensitive investing. Give us your thoughts. Uh, a lot of tax sensitive investors automatically go into municipal closed end funds. But what are some other ideas that you may want to suggest? Yeah, so while, while being in muni bonds is great from an investment grade quality basis, it's a hedge against equity markets, there are other ways to get yield where if we think rates are going to go up, it won't have any negative impact in, in general scenarios for investors. So one of the best places now is MLP funds. MLP yields don't go down because rates went up and the cost of borrowing went up. They go down because a company over leverages itself because they're not run well. And so it's interesting, just this morning, two MLP funds raised their dividends by about one and a half percent. MLP funds right now about a nine discount, but you have a handful 12, 13, 14, 15 plus. They've got a, a yield of about almost 8% on average as a group. And you have a good number of funds north of that. So if you pick a diversified mix of MLP funds, hold them for over a year, you've got at worst case short-term capital gains on the yield, and you don't pay that, uh, that taxes until you sell the investment. What about the risk of Again, problems with oil prices. MLP funds get their income from oil passing through a pipeline. So if oil is 40 bucks a barrel or 140, they get that same toll. You pay the same toll in the expressway whether you drive a Daihatsu or Porsche. And yes, net asset values are down year to date versus equity markets are up a little bit and, and uh, muni bond funds are actually up, you know, I think a tiny amount. But I think that's investors pushing these prices down because they're fearful, not a long-term problem with the sector, which also magnifies the benefit of the discount, in my opinion. What are other tax-sensitive ideas that you have for closed-end fund investors at this time? So as we think about a way to maybe replace some of your muni bond exposure, we definitely would add in some of the MLP exposure because there's lots of options. And you can find good funds if you do your research. You can also add covered call funds, which are more equity-based strategies, the right options, that also have Again, right now about a nine discount, about an eight yield, about half the dividends for the average fund is return of capital, but they have a third less volatility, and we've reviewed it historically, of the SP 500, but they've had a third less upside too. So if you're thinking of how can I pick three different spots to give me after-tax yield, I would definitely consider adding a portion of that to covered call funds because equity markets keep defying gravity and going up each and every year so far, and someday, but right now it's a great way to hedge the other risk. For more information and data on closed-end funds, visit our sponsor, cefconnect.com, the authority on closed-end funds. This is Closed-End Fund News.